embark on a fascinating exploration of the Vietnamese settlement in Garden Grove. Today we'll be learning about the compelling reasons for their choice of this vibrant community as their new home, dive into the intricacies of their transition process, and gain insight into how their rich cultural heritage near seamlessly merged with the traditions of the natural native inhabitants. We'll be observing the lives of some of our peers and their personal perspectives and opinions on the different sides of the transition of the Vietnamese migrating to Garden Grove. Additionally, discover the unique histories and experiences that have shaped the dynamic fabric of Garden Grove's diverse community, exploring areas that express the colorful culture of Vietnam. Today, we start off our journey into the present and the history of the intertwining of two cultures and how they came to become one. Good afternoon. Could you please start by telling us your name and where you're from? Uh, my name is Joseph Bartash, and I'm from Garden Grove. Thank you. I have a few questions for you today. Firstly, uh, could you please tell me about where you live and describe what your daily life, your daily life looks like? So I live in a pretty like um, middle class neighborhood, and uh, daily life there. We usually uh, don't really go out much, but if we do, like we go to this little place called Little Saigon in uh, Westminster. Thank you. I have a few questions for you today. Uh, firstly, could you please tell me about where you live and describe what your daily life looks like? Um, so like I live uh, in a pretty middle class neighborhood and uh, my day to day life um, pretty much differs from like, you know, going to school and like walking my dog and stuff. Um, and yeah. If you don't mind me asking, what is your ethnicity? I am uh, half Vietnamese, half white. And how would you describe your experience as a Vietnamese individual residing in Garden Grove? Do you feel like the place you live in accurately re represents you? Um, usually we'd have to go to, like, there's like a little t town or like area in Westminster that's like, um, more like open to like Vietnamese culture and stuff. It's called Little Saigon. And we usually go there to get like food or just like groceries and stuff. Thank you. And is there anything specific from your culture that you wish was better represented or highlighted? Um, I think Lunar New Year. Like, I see a lot of like Lunar New Year traditions and stuff happening like today, and it's just like kind of straight away from like the original roots of like the Vietnamese culture. And like, you don't really see like a lot of people going out in like their full like outfits and stuff like for Lunar New Year. Um, and there's like other traditions that people just don't follow anymore. Now, if you don't mind, could you tell me about your family's history and how they came to be here in Orange County? Okay, so my dad is white, but my mom is, she was born in Vietnam, and during the war, she had to, um, like, flee on a boat, because they were all, like, um, they're all, like, leaving uh, Saigon, uh, which I'm pretty sure was, like, the capital, or, like, a pretty big city in uh, South Vietnam, but they were fleeing Vietnam during the war, and, uh, they had a, they came to like a camp or like a refugee camp in uh, California. And then from there, they moved to Illinois. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Illinois. And then they moved back to California to um, stay. Well, Joseph, this concludes our interview. Thank you for taking the time to speak with me. Thank you. As the Vietnamese community flourished in Garden Grove, a combination of Vietnamese and American cultures emerged creating a unique tapestry of traditions, flavors, and experiences. Streets once unfamiliar became adorned with vibrant Vietnamese culture, busy markets and aromatic eateries, serving up pho and other Vietnamese dishes. Alongside classic American fare, this cultural interchange didn't just affect the food. It affected every aspect of daily life, from traditional Vietnamese festivals celebrated alongside Fourth of July parades to the blending of language and customs with within households and schools. Garden Grove became a melting pot where East met West in harmony. Through this intermingling, both Vietnamese and American identities evolved and enriched one another, illustrating the beauty and resilience of cultural diversity in shaping Garden Grove's collective identity. Good afternoon. Could you please tell us where you, what's your name and where you're from? Yeah, so my name is Micah Sa and I'm from Santa Ana. Alright. And 
Uh, thank you. I have a few questions for you today. Firstly, please tell me about where you live and describe your daily life and what it looks like. So as I said, I live in Santa Ana, but it's kind of like the place that borders Garden Grove. So Garden Grove is really where I spend most of my time and I'm uh, doing life. Mm -hmm. I kind of just wake up, go to school. I don't really think too much mm -hmm. about anything besides school. Mm. And uh, may I ask, what is your ethnicity? I'm Vietnamese. Uh, and how would you describe your experience as a Vietnamese uh, citizen residing in Garden Grove? Do you feel like the place you live in accurately represents you? Yeah, so I feel like a lot of our culture is represented a lot in Garden Grove. There is a lot of Viet people too, so it's very welcoming to see a lot of you know, people I can connect to, especially, you know, learn more about my past, where my parents were from, ancestors. Mm. Mm -hmm. And is there anything specific in your culture that you wish were better represented or highlighted as? I don't have any problems with how our culture is represented in Garden Grove, but I wish it kind of spread more outside Garden Grove, because inside Garden Grove, there, you'll see a lot. But outside, you'll barely see any. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't, um, uh, well, I guess this concludes our like, interview. As this concludes our video, we've gotten to understand the reasons why Vietnamese immigrants choose to settle in Garden Grove and how their culture has merged with that of already existing natives. War and, de and the destruction of Saigon in Vietnam led to their fleeing and them inhabiting the land of Orange County. Many fled on boat, including the ancestors of our friends we interviewed here today. Behind all of this, we've come to understand and learn the sense of new community that has been constructed by the arrival of Vietnamese culture in Southern California's Garden Grove.